back again with another music video reaction. My name is Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. And if you click the thumbnail, you're here to hear some Aurora. So Aurora is an artist that I just recently discovered, was basically told I should check out, and I have been pleasantly surprised. I've heard a couple of songs by this Norwegian singer, and she is very, very unique. Her sound, I've described it in the past as somebody, I read it in the comment section, I thought it was very apropos, was she's very ethereal sounding with her voice, you know, it's semi-angelic in certain aspects, but the music that she surrounds her, her voc vocals with as well, I really enjoy. And I've been given a lot of recommendations of things I should check out. I've tried, I've been trying to do some of the older stuff and then kind of ramp up to the newer stuff, but I kept getting told I needed to do some live stuff and also was told that I need to do Cure For Me as a song and i seen that there was a live performance of cure for me this is only like a year ago so this one's pretty it's probably the newest song that i've heard from hers but i figure I might as well give it a shot let's go ahead and see how this one is I don't like the tension, the misapprehensions about our nature and love. The glorious teachers are no use for creatures who knows how to play. Literally until the end there, I was like, I may have clicked the wrong thing because I don't think this is live because she sounded too good and crisp. Then clearly it was. So she's really good live too, which is amazing because that sounded like it was a studio recording. Now, you're going to have to help me out a little bit here because I was taken aback by the visuals of what was happening and just seeing everything and trying to listen. I think I missed some of the words she doesn't need a cure for me so uh, people try to change her they tell her she needs to be different and she's just happy being who she is because if that's the message i dig it i dig it a lot 
man, the sound was really good. The look was really good. She's definitely very quirky. I like it. It kind of reminded me, and not in a bad way, but kind of like, you know, 90s Madonna-ish, almost like early 90s Madonna, or maybe late 80s. I don't know, somewhere in that range. I mean, maybe it's also the big blazer that she had on, gave me that feel, and kind of the little twisted, quirky music that was in there, the tunes that came out, but that was really catchy, and her voice is really, really good. Man, that was a really good one. I guess I'll check out some more live stuff if she sings that good. I kind of want to check out the official version, too, just to see how it compares. But let me know in the comment section which other ones I should check out because I'm on board for more of that. Absolutely. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go to that subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out.